Dela Wright, my envies. Welcome. Elders of the Palace of Oni of Ife, Odua elders, are alleged to have stormed the sacred forest of Odua to find out what is going on with the Palace of the Oni of Ife and what is really happening with the Oni of Ife. And they said that they are worried with the things that are going on in the palace and the disposition of the monarch towards things and um, to find out what really that they need to do because they have done everything. You know, they keep bringing um, all of these people from Brazil to come and do things and they'll do things will go okay. Like one month, things will go okay. Two months, things will go okay. Three months, things will be perfect. Everybody will just return back to their resting place thinking, oh, we got it all figured out. We got it all settled. Everything is okay. Then, boom, everything will go back to zero. <laughs> right now, the reason why Udwa elders have gone to the sacred forest um, to find out what is going on, again, to meet with the custodian, is because of things that are going on in the palace. Now, let me tell you, from what we are hearing, allegedly, they said that there are certain things that KBS is supposed to question, that he is not questioning. That when they brought the deity to the palace, um, they knew that um, in the 17th century, something like this had happened in the palace of the Oni of Ife, where a strange god was brought to the palace of the Oni of Ife. And um, that strange god was brought at that time by a woman. They brought that strange god to the um, uh, strange deity to the palace during the 17th century. They said we should go and read about it that it is there, that is documented. Allegedly, that um, if the monarch had not done something instantly, it would have um, the consequences of that action would have gone upon the children because they said children began to fall sick. Their children were sick. Women were sick. Women who were giving birth were passing, passing, passing away. And things started happening and happening and happening. Then they found out that it was because someone had gone to a complete like foreign region to go and bring a strange deity into the palace. That bringing a strange deity into the palace of the Oni of Ife is a taboo, like big time taboo that something ought to have been done like almost immediately and nothing was done. And up until now, they are deliberating on what to do. And, you know, nobody in this world can go over the head of Oni of Ife to make certain judgment or decision because he is the head. He is a role Oduduwa. He is the, uh, the custodian of you know, the Yoruba race, you know, he is the head, the, 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 that, you know, the progenitor of the Yoruba race made it that way. And that's why they say the first son of the God, the second son of the gods, the third son, and all of that. So Oni of Ife is supposed to be the one who knows exactly what to do at times like this and take action and ensure that deterrent, you know, the action serves as a deterrent to others and have them understand that nothing of such can ever, ever happen in the palace of the Oni of Ife. But they say when it comes to the wives, of the monarch that KBSC would do nothing because maybe he's afraid of scandal or maybe he doesn't know what to do. But right now they went to the palace of Odua to find out um, um, because they think that somebody is busy doing stuff and doing stuff that they shouldn't uh, be doing to the only of Ife and it's like some kind of control measure is in place to ensure that he does not take action like to confuse him um, to create some kind of confusion with him and all of that. And that is why the Odua elders decided to move back um, to the sacred forest of Odua to find out what is going on as it is rumored. If every information we keep getting is the truth, this is the information that is coming 
through now. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, De La Ram. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the South still on the Royals. How are you guys doing? I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you, Esheo Adupeo. Thank you, people. If you're yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell, and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Now, um, it's not it's, it's, it's not a small thing that is going on in the palace of Odua. Right now, um, they say elders who went to um, Odua Forest to find out what is going on um, with the Oni of Ife were told that only recently they passed a degree or they told Oni of Ife not to eat food from any of those Oloris, that if he must eat, he must eat food that is prepared by his first wife, Olori Naomi. And they said they did not, they just, they made it clear to him that he has to be Olori Naomi categorically that will make his meals, that within the window that was created, there was something that they were doing in the spiritual realm to safeguard the only of Ife. So um, within that window that was created, KBSC was not supposed to eat from any other person but Olori Naomi. But they said that rule was not taken um, into account that um, um, Oni of Ife ate um, his Olori's food. Oni of Ife, they said that he ate from one of his Olori's. And that because he ate from one of the Olori's, whatever was planted against him was able to enter him. And it's what that exact thing that is in him that is working right now, that this is a very, very serious situation that he ate the meal that he was not supposed to eat. And they say elders were shocked to the bone marrow. They did not know what to do. They didn't know what to believe. They could not believe it in the first, like they couldn't even believe it. Now, do not forget that these are all rumored information. I do not live in the palace of the Oni of Ife, neither am I related to anyone who is related to um, these people. I am a blogger. I'm a boy. That is all that I am. Okay, so I let you understand that I don't live there. And I also let you know that any news you get on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt. So it's not a small something, no, as we are hearing right now. They said that he ate from one of his Oloris that he wasn't supposed to do that. So right now the question is, how did this happen? Because it was only Olori Elizabeth who was assigned to go get food from Oni of Ife, I mean from Pinami, and bring to um, Oni of Ife. And the last time we checked, Olori Elizabeth has been very good to Oni of Ife and Pinami. We cannot be in a place where we think that all of these Oloris, there's no one who would have the back of Oni, no. No, and they said Olori Elizabeth had been very great to them, and that was why she, they trusted her to be bringing these meals. And so what happened? How did it happen? A news I'm going to bring back to you now. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.